Welcome back everybody, hit that like, hit that subscribe if you like this video. Today we're going to do something fun just because it's Sunday, the Super Bowl is next week, so we're just going to kind of dive into a little bit of draft options. So I want to kind of go over a couple of the draft picks that we have, just the second through the third round because then it's six and seven and we're just getting, you know, basically players at that point, we're not really looking forward to them. So we're going to go right into the number two pick, it's going to be 51 for the Miami Dolphins, which is... We're gonna wait till day two and it's gonna be a little while, but um, honestly, it's a project, but this guy can be, he can be something that the Dolphins can use. We need blockers. Uh, it's going to be the reverse of what Mike Gesicki was. So Mike Gesicki couldn't block at all. Darnell Washington out of Georgia, the guy is six foot seven. 250 pounds or no sorry 270 pounds guy is humongous and he's a tight end he can catch the ball yes he's not going to be as mobile or like not going to make the athletic catches that Gasicki would make but honestly you basically have a sixth offensive lineman when he's on the field so i think it's something that mike mcdaniel really wants to have on this team i'll pop up the stats for him from the college uh but the guy is just He's kind of a freak, and I don't know what you do with him. I'm guessing that he could be a good red zone threat, but our offense doesn't really utilize tight ends too much. It's more running backs and wide receivers. So what I figure is you have this guy, six foot seven. He's a mismatch for every single player on that field, uh, even defensive linemen. Like they're, they're still not as tall as he is. You have that guy in the red zone where, one, he can block for the running back. You basically have six offensive linemen at all times or you have a guy going on basically anybody on the field and he's about five inches taller than all of them you have a mismatch in the red zone and you have another blocker on the field i think mike mcdaniel can really really figure out how to use this guy could you have basically a building that is a tight end and it's not like he's slow he's not fast he's not gonna you know burn you down the field but once he gets the ball in his hands he has enough speed and he's huge that he will run any single defender over you're not taking him down with the first defender and he knows how to hurdle so a lot of players like to go for his legs he understands that and he hurdles over a lot of players so i think with the number two pick you know Offensive lineman, I think we need a veteran. We don't need to get another rookie to come in and figure out if he's good or not, especially when you're in the second round. Linebacker, same thing. You don't want a project, especially with Vic, uh, Vic Fangio coming into the uh, coaching regime. But I think this guy can just give you that weird, crazy beast type dude that can honestly turn into something pretty spectacular in the NFL if he gets everything together. So that's what I think our second pick really should be. I think running back, we have Mostert. We're going to bring him back, most definitely. Uh, Jeff Wilson is pretty cool, but I think we're going to go for running back in the third round. Speaking of third round, we will see if he gets this far. We have the 77th pick in the third round. We have two third round picks, 77th and the 83rd or 80, 84th. Um, but the, for the third round, I think this is going to be my gem of a player. I think Darnell Washington is going to be a freak, and he can really be utilized at the next level. Uh, but this running back, I think, is going to be a big sleeper. And I think you get him in the third round, you got a first-round talent in this guy. And it's Zach Charbonnet. The guy had 1,300 yards in college, 14 touchdowns. And if you watch his tape, he moves different. He's not a super fast guy, but he moves I mean, almost like one of the most agile, big running backs I've I've seen in a while. Like, the guy really just knows how to cut and do all these different things. Yes, he's not going to burn you down the field again, but that's what Mostert's for. Mostert's going to be that speed guy. But Charbonnet can really, I mean, he does not go down after one tackler. He really just knows how to pick the holes right. If you watch his tape, I mean, the guy has patience like a veteran, and he can really just come into the NFL and just start making an impact off bat. I think, honestly... He's a more agile Jeff Wilson, if I could be honest with you. Uh, the guy just knows how to cut. He knows how to stop. And it's just, it's pretty miraculous to see somebody that big that can run you over, stiff arm you, but also can just 
move from one direction forward to the right or to the left with like a snap of his fingers. The guy, his cutting ability is something that I have not seen for a really long time. I mean, he's big, not really fast, but he can really just pick where he needs to go and just go that way, which is very translatable to the NFL. You have a lot of fast guys coming out. You know, I think you're always going to have those fast running backs that can cut this and that. But I think this guy is just going to be out of the whole running back room, the really special player that can really just contribute to the offense and can just pick those holes right. And also another, again, added blocker where this guy's big, he can block well, um, and he's just going to be a a solid all-around running back that can just contribute in the third round. Third round pick, we got to go corner. Um, And I think there's a lot of corners in this uh, draft, kind of depending on where they go in the draft. So I'm not really sure. I have three different corners that I think we can go for. I I honestly think that Q Blue Kelly is going to be the corner that we select at that part in time. Um, But you also have Eli Ricks, which is a really nasty tackler. He's sure tackler. And uh, Forbes as well. He's going to be another really good guy. I mean, the guy has interceptions left and right. Did I get that right? Yeah, Emmanuel Forbes. But I think we're going with Q Blue Kelly. I think he'll fall to us at that point. He's a pretty good man coverage corner, and he also can play zone a little bit. Um, He's pretty physical. He's a little bit smaller, but I think you can just add weight when you get to uh, the NFL. But I think that guy can really just move Cater, either keep him outside or put him in the inside. We're going to be playing a different type of defense, but I think that guy can really just... He, he can really be a solid uh, starter in the NFL. Any of those corners can. Um, and I think with the Vic Fangio defense, he'll fit very well because he's a pretty sure tackler. And uh, he has pretty decent ball skills, you know. But honestly, if Emmanuel Forbes falls to us, I mean, that guy is a pick six walking. So we could also pick Emmanuel Forbes at that time. But there's plenty of corner help um, in this draft. I think a couple of players, the middle linebacker and the uh, safety and also, you know, the offensive line. I think we're going to go for veteran help because I think Vic Fangio runs with that type of player so much so on the defense and also Mike McDaniel on the offense that you need to have a guy that you don't need to teach a lot of stuff to that you can just plug, play, and get better. And I think we're going to find a lot of that in free agency. And then these types of players we can definitely find in the draft. So hope you like that. Do a little research on your draft picks. But I think that's who we would be targeting most likely in our second and third round picks just to get the most bang for your buck. Again, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Fins up. Peace. recording right okay if it's red <sighs> it's my hair mess yeah all right whatever let me fix you up no it's okay we no, gotta get I this got done no, no. we gotta get it done we got eight minutes my favorite youtuber can't be looking rough out you okay okay go. i love you